out for a fairly local walk this morning. Heading towards Crook Peak at some point today. It's forecast to rain as well, which is why I've got my jacket on. It probably means it'll stay dry all morning, but there you go. I didn't go out at all last weekend, which is... I felt so exhausted and tired from everything going on this recently. And consequently I suffered from that because I felt even worse afterwards and hoping to kind of rebalance and stabilise things again with this walk and yeah, it should get a bit easier from there on. It's only going to be a five or six mile route today, but that can be enough sometimes when the weather's bad as well. It's still pretty warm and humid. But there's a warning for thunder and lightning at some point, so who knows. The style here is broken, needs repairing. If ever you find something like this in the countryside, report it to the relevant council through the website. In this case, I guess it would be Somerset County Council. I'm currently heading away from Crook Peak and towards the A38. Before then, I'll turn up through Kingswood, which you can see just ahead. Then I'll cross over the ridge onto the far side, going down towards Winscombe, and then walk west a bit further towards Crook Peak and climb back up. So a fairly straightforward route, not too strenuous given my fitness levels, but a good leg stretcher for a, an overcast day. So I parked at the bottom of Crook Peak and I was surprised to find there were still spaces in the lay-by. Normally it's quite full. This disused quarry is popular with people who think they can build fires in the wild. I think one more over there as well. All illegal of course, and not entirely respectful. My walk now goes up around here. There's a good view of Cheddar Reservoir and Axbridge before there. right away was completely new to me. It was quite nice because it cut off um, most of Kingswood which can be quite busy on the weekend with the car park nearby. Ahead of me you can see wavering down. Normally that's the highest point on my route around here but 
I'm going to bypass that today. I'm turning right down past the house just before it. So I'm now losing height. Down there is Winscombe and the A38. A bit further on is Banwell. But at the end of this road I sort of turn left, follow a, an old drove back in the westerly, westward direction. And then gradually regain my height. side of the fence but I don't know what to do with you. Alright. Keep going, keep going. So that was interesting and rather unexpected. One of Somerset's finest drover's roots. I'm wearing some brand new boots today and they are the La Sportiva TX4 mids. The class is a, an approach hiking shoe so you find a bit of scrambling, a bit of climbing and some walking and this is my third outing with them. The first time I wore them did a good 10 mile walk I was fine They've got a nice wide toe box, they're a good fit for a slimmer foot and they've got quite a low volume vertically which is quite good because normally I have to wear um, volume reducers under my insoles with walking boots but I did a four mile walk after that and I had a pain in my ankle where it's kind of rubbing on the outside of the bone and that's happening again today, I'm not really sure how deal with that. If you've got any thoughts then please let me know. So far I've just um, tried to relax some of the lacing around the top but I can still feel it, it's quite painful. I know it can be quite common with brand new boots but it would be nice to get past it at some point soon because they are really nice boots. Got good traction as well. This sign means we're now entering open access land with a legal right to roam anywhere within the boundaries. So over there is where I live in Weston. That there is Banwell Hill which is private and maybe just see the track being dug which is part of the Hinkley Point distribution network for the new pylons and things going in across the district. So the pain I'm getting is right on the back of here. The chute is just digging in there when it's tight. It's been a good walk. 
and I feel better for doing it. I've also got probably four weeks now till I go to the Yorkshire Dales, so that's something to look forward to. And I'm thinking about heading to Dartmoor next weekend for possibly two nights camping, wild camping. Uh, that depends on how the weather is and how I feel, but I'd rather do it next weekend than the one after when it's my holiday. Anyway, um, thank you for watching the video. Take care and I'll see you next time.